An amazing number of enterprise customers are moving their SAP landscapes, including production environments, to AWS to reduce cost as well as build agility. Harpreet Singh and David Payne from AWS will now talk about how AWS provides infrastructure design for large scale and in memory applications with really high memory price ratio. And they will also talk about how AWS simplifies SAP operations using AWS SAP functions. So over to you, David. Well, good afternoon. By now you've probably worked out that I'm not actually from Mumbai, and as a Agora, I kind of talk funny. So can I do a system check? Uh, am I audible? Okay, thank you. Tike. Bahut acha. My name is David Payne, and it's my pleasure and uh, tremendous responsibility to help our customers who run enterprise applications and databases on AWS, and these include, of course, SAP. And together with my colleague, Harpreet Singh, we're going to demonstrate and illustrate how customers are reinventing the way they run SAP on AWS. And a little bit later on, we're also going to hear from Mr. Deepjoy from Larson and Tobro Infotech, and he's going to share his experience transforming the way LTI runs SAP on AWS. We're also going to demonstrate exactly how you can improve and optimize and automate a number of critical steps in your lifecycle management for SAP applications. But why do we need to reinvent? There is an industry analyst called Resulting Limited, which was recently founded by former Gartner analysts, and they've taken, frankly, a good, deep, and honest look at SAP implementations over the past more than 20 years. And frankly, in spite of more than 20 years of practice and according to Resulting Limited, customers' track record of success with SAP implementations is, well, it's, it's kind of mixed. And they found that, for example, more than two thirds of SAP customers have missed their original project plan and that more than two thirds have also missed their project budget. And yet only about half of customers also have been achieving their original objectives for deployment of SAP. So surely, together, all of us, we have a responsibility and an opportunity to do better. If you're an SAP customer, by now you've probably heard of SAP S for HANA. And this latest generation of SAP's ERP portfolio offers the promise of real-time insight the collapse of transactional and analytic systems together on one in-memory platform. And this can help you make uh, better decisions in real time and therefore improve customer outcomes. Uh, SAP would also say that uh, S4HANA is a simplified system and it can help you reduce the total cost of operations. However, most SAP customers have an existing investment and they're concerned about factors like capital investment and the complexities of their existing systems. So if you have an existing SAP system, what is it integrated with? For example, EDI gateways or banking systems or payroll or more. And how about if you've customized your SAP applications? What happens if you've customized the database and you have a complex data model or data structure? So all of these concerns kind of get represented as a chasm and we here from SAP customers that they're concerned about how they cross that chasm before the deadline that SAP has given them, which is 2025. And customers tell us that they are frankly concerned about the unknowns of this migration. They're concerned about the budget for this kind of a project, should they go ahead? And what's the effort and how do they get there? So I do think that as an industry, all of us together, we have a responsibility and an opportunity to do a whole lot better. And we need to do it between now and 2025. Now customers tell us that running SAP on AWS is actually different. And they tell us that it's different in four key respects. And some of these things you will have heard this morning from uh, Sir Mr. Uh, Kamal Shah, who joined us at the keynote. But customers consistently tell us that SAP on AWS is different firstly because of speed. The user experience, the database performance, the application server, 
it's faster. Secondly, it's more agile. Customers tell us that they can deploy production grade systems in as little as an hour and complete implementations of projects in three, four, five months. This is not 18 months, this is not three years, this is inside six months. And third, customers tell us that they get better security with SAP on AWS. There is a complete audit trail of all of the interactions that administrators and users have with the AWS systems that support the SAP applications. And fourth, customers tell us consistently that they like the benefit of flexibility. They can change their mind, they can scale up or scale down, they can experiment, and they can do all of these things more often. And if I might ask you to reflect on the quotations from some of these customers who've done successful SAP on AWS projects. In Australia, where I come from originally, we have a mining company called Oz Minerals, and uh, Mr. Cole is the chief executive, and he shares that he's actually been involved with many SAP projects during his long career, and he says in his prior experience, they're notorious for going over budget and taking more resources than you would expect. But the Oz Minerals s hana on AWS project has gone well. Think about and consider the case of Del Monte, the packaged goods manufacturer from the US and the Philippines. Uh, they engaged Accenture to do what was, frankly, a very complex transformation and then implementation of s hana And Accenture's original estimate was seven months. And then they developed a project plan and for four months. Chris Wegman, who is the managing director of Accenture, shared that they actually finished the project in three and a half months. And this is possible because of substantial automation that they'd put into their project approach. Now, I've got to tell you, it's not often you hear SAP and finish half a month early in the same sentence. And this concept of automation is something that Harpreet is going to reflect on later in his section in our presentation. And consider also the case of Contact Energy, which is a utility in New Zealand, an electric utility. And Hanno has shared with us that they were able to migrate and transform their SAP BW system. They've deployed on AWS, and even though they had one-time migration costs and they had to purchase software, they still got an ROI in less than a year. So customers are being successful, fundamentally successful, with the SAP implementations on AWS. And here in India, these business leaders have also been successful with SAP on AWS. And customers include DreamBakes and Jubilant Foodworks and Supermax. I like how it feels. SAP has been a customer of AWS for 10 years now, and we've been a global technology partner since 2011. And at that time, SAP certified AWS as the first cloud platform for production deployment of their applications. And there's a, a long, long list of SAP applications and platforms and databases that you can deploy on AWS. But we've been innovating with SAP and for the benefit of our customers for more than 10 years. And you can see at the top right some of the recent innovations that we've brought to market for the benefit of our customers. The scope of collaboration between SAP and AWS is ever expanding. And if you're an SAP customer, you may be familiar with, for example, uh, SAP Cloud Platform, which is their platform as a service. The Cloud Foundry stack variant of this, you can deploy on AWS in some regions today. SAP Hybris, Concur, and Success Factors all run in part on AWS. And SAP announced earlier this year that HANA Enterprise Cloud, their managed hosting offering, is also available on AWS in some selected regions. And we look forward to expanding the scope of collaboration with SAP even further and for your benefit. The range of Amazon and AWS offerings for SAP customers who are running HANA is summarized on this chart. And we really encourage our customers who are thinking about HANA to start small, very small, and scale up and scale out as your requirements change. We have a range of Amazon EC2 instances that are certified for production deployment of HANA uh, in AWS. And these include, for example, 
the instances called X1 and X1E, which we co-engineered with Intel for the benefit of our SAP HANA customers. Each of these instances, including X1, are available today on demand in Mumbai region and pay as you go. And this means that you can start small, build some confidence in how this can work, and if you need to change your mind or you need to change your planning assumptions, you can do so without having made a significant capital expenditure or significant operational expenditure. But we're far from done innovating to meet the needs of SAP HANA customers, and we acknowledge that many large enterprise customers in India need bigger again than, for example, four terabytes. So we've announced a roadmap of instances including eight and 16 terabytes, and uh, watch this space over the next couple of weeks for announcements and details about how these new proposed large instances will be available for your benefit.